Forty years ago I was a young engineer working on the Range Rover programme and I'd done a lot of the off-road durability work which was delegated by my boss Jeff Miller and uh, because of that experience I'd gained with the vehicle I was asked to come to Wales to uh, assist with the filming of the promotional material that was going to be used during the launch of this new Range Rover. The resulting images were used during the uh, launch of the vehicle, um, both in Cornwall and um, by the media in general for their articles that they wrote about the vehicle after they'd road tested it. And we visited various parts between Bed Gellert and Betsy Coed and uh, Capel Keurig, uh, Festiniog and also Anglesey. Forty years on and it's fantastic to actually bring a 2011 model year Range Rover here which is absolutely superb, it, 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 it shines. Although the first vehicle set that benchmark that others had to follow, Range Rover's always been ahead. There are a few differences over 40 years between this vehicle and the 2011 model year vehicle. Um, of course we um, started off with a vehicle which was permanent four wheel drive through a lockable centre differential. Now the traction aids and the transmission are much more sophisticated than uh, this vehicle. Electronic e-diffs, uh, electronic traction control, hill descent system and terrain response have actually made uh, the Range Rover a very easy vehicle to drive in all situations. The track that we've driven on today and the track that we drove on 40 years ago, I personally didn't find. It was found by the producer uh, working for Pathé and uh, Forlong Productions who actually made the film. Uh, they did the initial investigations in Wales and by staying in the uh, local hotel um, managed to find the farmer who farmed this land and he gave us permission to use his, um, his tracks for the filming. Interesting enough the same family still after 40 years of farming here and uh, the son is now farming and the grandson is is, is working here as well so we, and it's been really interesting to talk to them and meet with them and show them some of the material that was filmed here and photographed here all those years ago. I didn't find it uh, from my memory initially my colleague Nick Dimbleby he did some great research uh, and using Google Earth and some ordnance survey maps we managed to track it down and uh, with some help from some of the locals pointed us in the right direction. When we filmed 40 years ago, there was more snow on the mountains then because we were probably a month earlier than we are this year. Um, but nevertheless, uh, it's, it's uh, still wonderful views, uh, wonderful driving, great conditions to show off the Range Rover then and even better to show off the new Range Rover that we're going to be launching.